Hi friends, I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to another Collage With Me video. We're back working in this quote art journal, and this is the journal that I collage quotes that I've saved on post-it notes. Today we'll be collaging this quote from Helen Frankenthaler. The quote reads, I follow the rules until I go against them all. I think it's a wonderful quote for artists. Now let's talk about the supplies we'll be using. First, we have this yellow greenish painted paper that will be used to write the quote on since I don't write directly onto the journal. I was inspired by this purple piece of paper that's sewn into the page. This will be a very high contrast collage. Other collage materials is this bleeding tissue paper. And I decided on this besides the color, but also because of this texture and the transparency of it. I want this book page to kind of show through. So when you collage on top of it, you'll see some of the text. So that'll be nice. Other supplies that we have are the matte medium and a brush to adhere the bleeding tissue paper to the page. Also, this glue that will adhere the paper with the quote on to the page. I initially bought this glitter glue for a journal that I was making. I used it to glue fabric to the journal. I want to see how it works when gluing paper to paper. Scissors are good to have. Also, pencil. And these black pens to write the quote. I'm not sure which pen I will use, or maybe I'll just use them all. I'm not sure at this point. Water jars, good to have, paper towels, and underneath the paper towels, I have a piece of paper that I'm going to put behind the page we're working on just to protect the other pages in the journal. Now we're ready to start writing the quote. One quick thing before we start writing the quote, I wanted to show you the process I went through to come up with the lettering. This is my sketchbook where I hash out ideas. These two samples over here have similar lettering that was used in previous quote collages. I want to do something different this time around, so I came up with this idea. I decided on writing the words with slightly different fonts and on different pieces of paper. This design will reinforce the collage and fit the theme of the quote. Okay, so now let's start writing the quote. I brought you in a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I will start by lightly writing the quote in pencil, and then I'll come back in and use one or maybe all of these pens on top of the pencil. Since I can't write and talk at the same time, I'm going to add music at this section.
I thought I mentioned that I used a kneaded eraser to clean up some of the pencil marks that were still showing. And if you haven't used one before, all you do is you take a clean part of the eraser and you just press down on your paper and it'll pick up your pencil marks. It's that easy. It's a good tool to have in your art supplies. Now that the quote is finished, we're ready to start collaging in the journal. So let me get everything set up. I'll be right back. Since altered bleeding tissue paper has nice variation of colors, I want to pick papers that have good contrast and good colors. And these ones on top are very dark and very subtle contrast of colors and variations. So I'm going to put them aside for now. And if I need darker pieces, I'll pick from this bunch. But let's look at what we have here. And as you can see, there's nice variation of colors, nice texture, like marble looking. So I'm going to choose from these and start laying them down on our page. Decided on these two pieces, this darker piece has a little touch of green up here, which is nice that it'll coordinate with the yellow green paper that the quote is written on. And then this piece is lighter. There's still some variation of colors, but it'll add nice contrast between this piece and the piece that's sewn in. I kept this one aside as a third option in case this piece doesn't have enough variation of color once it's glued down. So I'm going to glue these two pieces down and then we'll come back and evaluate if this third piece is needed. Now that the bleeding tissue paper is dry, let's take a look to see if this third piece is needed. This dark area up here, the dark purple and the green looks good. It adds nice contrast. I like that you see some of the text from the page below in this piece down here and it's lighter. So that adds contrast to this darker piece and this piece sewn piece over here. So I don't think this third piece is needed at all. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to glue down the quote and then trim up the edges and then we'll have one final review.
this layout of the quote, so now what I'm going to do is take this glitter glue and see how well it glues down this paper to the paper. The quote is almost all the way dry, so at this point I'm just going to trim up some of the edges and then we'll come back for one final review. Let's do a quick review of this finished collage. I love the contrast between the yellow-green quote and the purple of the bleeding tissue paper and this piece that was already sewn into the journal. The way the quote is written makes a bold statement, which the quote is a bold statement, so that works well. I'm happy with the way the collage turned out, and I'm also happy with the way that glitter glue worked out. It seems like it's holding the quote pieces in place. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.